And that's the fun thing about trauma. So you take in somebody that comes in completely broken, you put them back together, and they go home again, which I love. Patients don't have to leave our own community to get a high quality of trauma care. We use the SIM man, which is basically a high-tech computer that looks like a patient, in order to create patient scenarios. We want to be able to simulate different procedures, and the newer models allow us to do that. The newer, higher fidelity simulators allow you to fully um, interact with this mannequin as if it was a real human being. We can have the patient get better with what they do. We can have the patient deteriorate with what they do so that they learn from their decision making and can change it. You can um, work with a team and um, really interact well with the, with the simulators. They're very realistic so if you have a baby they'll turn blue, they may be breathing, you can actually feel pulses. The nice thing with the new simulators versus our old is that they are untethered. They'll be able to have our uh, simulators simulation coordinator outside of the room uh, running the simulator while the student is inside actually making decisions for that patient. One of the biggest areas of error is actually between, uh, happens when you have communication issues between the team. Um, and so this allows you to figure out you know, how do you communicate well with a team. We train physicians from all over the state as well as surrounding states, Nebraska, Colorado, Idaho, Montana. Those, uh, in those areas, they may not have a higher level of trauma center to help with their education. So we provide a twice a year ATLS course so that we can train them on how to take care of a critically injured patient that arrives in their ER and get them through the first golden hour of trauma, stabilize them, get them on a helicopter, and send them to us. The whole world of education has started using computers for their training. We use them in surgery. Um, we use them for critical care like with the SIM men. And I think a lot of younger people coming out, which are the people we want to come to our community, are used to that um, computer-based education system. Part of our nursing curriculum um, is the growing use of simulation. Uh, in fact, I think we have one of the finest simulation labs in uh, the, the West for preparing nurses, and it's been invaluable uh, in creating a training environment and educational environment that helps these students succeed the, the day they step onto the job. Our graduates who enter the nursing profession or any health profession, I think expect the level of technology and technology integration into the clinical environment that they were trained on. And, and they actually, in many ways, they may be seeking that out for the job that they choose. So in terms of a recruitment and, a, and an overall retention perspective, um, having simulation, having technology integrated into the healthcare environment at CRMC is actually probably gonna benefit you from a recruitment and retention standpoint. All of those services require that we have skills that are toned and sharp at all times. If we keep those services at a high level, we'll be able to recruit a high standard of physician to our community and we'll also be able to retain physicians in our community. We get the, all the simulation mannequins that we're, we need for Cheyenne Regional Medical Center, we're asking for $225,000. They allow us to do more education than we've ever done before. They allow us to educate a broader scope of providers. And, that, and they should last us about 20 years. As a physician, it's, it's really exciting because um, we want to provide the best care to our patients and this is um, a huge tool um, to let us provide that care well and effectively. SINMAN makes our healthcare better in Cheyenne because it provides education for those of us who have to take cr care of critical patients every day so that our community can expect that service if anything happens to them or their loved ones we're here we're ready for them we don't have to send you out to a different hospital in colorado we can take care of all of your needs every day and that's what we want to do here